All is fair in love and beef. Yeah. This is just what comes up when rappers decide to go at it. So right. it's just part of the game, you know? I'm a spectator. I'm sitting back and Definitely. enjoying it. Let me ask you this. Is love and beef the sequel to love and basketball? <laughs> All right, guys, we are live from the Teen Vogue Summit. And yes, we're talking politics, we're talking midterm elections, we're talking voting. But we have to take a quick minute because I have my faves in the building, Kip Fury and Crystal of The Read. And so I, yes, we will get to all the politics and we'll catch you guys on stage, but can we talk about Drake in this blackface situation? Like, do we have thoughts? Do we have feelings? Do we not care? Because y'all are good for her. Right. <laughs> I mean, I feel like mostly, mostly I don't really care right. because Drake is at least partially black. Right. It's not like an automatic dismissal of him uh, as a person like right. I would if he was a white artist. But I thought his explanation that he put up on Instagram stories was really whack. Yeah. I'm like, you know, just say that it was such and such year. You thought it was edgy or cool right. or a good idea to do it. Right. You're looking back on it now like, what the hell was I thinking? And let it be and that. Let it yeah. Right. Yeah. What about you, Kithiri? Um, I didn't read whatever his iOS press release <laughs> apology was. Um, I didn't care about that. I saw the picture. Everybody kind of has things that they did however yeah. many years ago that they will look back and think is really crazy. 15, 12 years ago, I was wearing skinny jeans from Hot Topic. I can't. <laughs> and I've grown since then. I'm not that person anymore. And if anybody has those photos, I would ask that they would respect that I've grown right since now. then. Well, don't get in a rap beef, because um, they're coming out. Yeah, no, that <laughs> happens. But I mean, when I saw that, I feel just like she does. When I saw the pictures initially, it didn't really like rattle me and, and make me angry the way it would have if he was not black. Right. It just kind of made me think, what was the purpose of this? And um, the reasoning behind it isn't great, but it's also not something that is going to make me throw Drake away. You know, yeah, Drake right. doesn't seem like he always makes the best <laughs> choices all of the time. Okay. So yeah. that's just how rap beef works out. They look for the most embarrassing thing yeah. that they can and they throw it out there. Drake will be fine. Yeah, he'll be absolutely fine. And I think in his, I know you didn't read the, the apology. Can you call it? It wasn't an apology. No. This, the explanation. Right, explanation. Um, he basically was just saying, and for those of you who don't know, this was released or revealed by Pusha T and Araptus. Um, and so for cover art, he basically said that like it was commentary on the way actors are being treated at that time when he was just an actor. He wasn't a rapper at yeah. the time. But Pusha's response, I think, is really what got me. And he said, basically, well, you don't have a stance on black issues. So you trying to talk about black art and black men in Hollywood, but you never take a stance now in what black issues. What stance does Pusha have on black issues? I mean, I know he was in a White House photo at some point, but I don't know what he's yeah, done. Yeah, I know he campaigned for uh, Hillary Clinton, yeah. um, but Pusha T has to answer for his association with Kanye, Mr. Slavery Was a Choice West. So That part. So everybody should just shut up. Everybody has their own, you know, everybody is problematic or wrong or needs to grow in one way or another. And at the end of the day, all is fair in love and beef. Yeah. This is just what comes up when rappers decide to go at it. So right. it's just part of the game, you know? I'm a spectator. I'm sitting back and That's enjoying part. it. Let me ask you this. Is Love and Beef the sequel to Love and Basketball? <laughs> Might be a better movie. Let's put that out there. Love and Hip Hop spinoff. Love and Hip Hop spinoff. Oh, spin yeah, somebody call Mona, because she, she can get it done. I feel like it, she, she, she heard it, like Sonic Waves. She's you like, hear Hip Hop, she has Sonic Waves. It's a good idea. I'm going to do it. <laughs> right. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining me, and you can catch a recap of them on stage, and also catch them on the read every Thursday. I'll be refreshing, because y'all be playing. Nobody told y'all to take a vacation last week, but oh, girl. I'll allow it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much for joining us, and we'll see you next time.